guys and girls and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Over here last time we spent a bit of uh, our excess energy to have a recreational room uh, that should help the uh, morale of our duplicants. And today we want to build something in this corner uh, so we can produce steel in a manner that's not so uh, chanky as this set up here uh, where every once in a while um, the cooling liquid gets too hot and uh, spills out. Uh, we also have a bit of an issue with our water because here we have run dry this one comes active soon here we are pretty much dry this one is still active but does not um, produces quite a bit of steam but not for very long so Eventually, we will also have to think about um, where can we get more water. We have something down here, and there are certainly other sources. But first things first. Um, let's take this one. Um, and let's just place it here and then on this one how much does that that one require that's refinement okay I think we need a dedicated uh, transformer here hook that one up like this and then like that and we will have a bit of ladder going up here And we will dig out all of this. And then we shall have a bit of a floor here. And actually, I think we can place door here on this side work and then we probably we do have still a bit of research to do because eventually we will need the uh, rocket part down here so we will have to figure out everything then in here we need a liquid reservoir and that gives us an indication how high this room should be then we need a bit of piping we will use isolated pipe that goes like this and this goes like that and we have bridges here here and 
then we have a shot of wolf. There. And we have a liquid thermal sensor. One here. And there. And we have another. Both going there. So then the remaining pipe like this and from here. This output that goes in there and connects there, and then here we connect this. Here we come from up above, and here we have another bridge. this and like that and then can pick everything out here on top we will make this isolation to think. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six wide. That's certainly wide enough. We can have wall here. This room is three high we'll need a gate there Because this whole thing, we need to cool it down, and um, that can be a bit, a bit tricky. But we will use this room to cool it down, and at the same time, um, we can use steam that um, will generate some um, that will generate some uh, some power again But for that, they have to complete this. I see research is, oh, we queued up quite a bit. So no need to worry yet. And let's see where we get there.
could get to this one from on top here. But I think maybe that's not the, the best idea because on this side they do not have um, uh, uh, atmospheres. So maybe we will go here. Then of course they have to do quite a bit of uh, work until we can see what's next. As you can see a bit more planning went in here and we have also the room here up on top that's where our uh, uh, generator will go so we can hook that power wire up there then in here we probably um, uh, want to have a bit of a cooling loop um, In here we will eventually need a bit of uh, hydrogen. So we will have a ladder here on this side, then this. And for the lake or the lock, I think we do not need much. But we can do that with uh, with chlorine. Uh, of course, we will need a pump that we will place there. Um, have a high pressure vent there. Connect everything up, and then power. together and, and maybe we need a level there and while everything is cold we eventually will need the part here on top but I think the lower part we can already run only have to fill in liquid in here for cooling everything and we will use the petroleum that we have stored here on this side. Uh, down below progress has also been made um, so we can actually There, break this open. Um, and then we need a bit of power uh, on the in there. We can take it from there. Because we have to power a pump. I would imagine maybe um, liquid pump. It is and a liquid filter, which we 
evil place. Here. So... We will use isolated pipe through here. Here at the bottom we can have the desalination to get water. Uh, that's more things for them to do. Also here they are making progress, cannot reach everything. Um, but eventually they will get to it and we can mm. maybe we will use a bit of petroleum we only need a tiny uh, sliver here um, because we do not want to spill it over in here because eventually we will have to close to close this off. And I am thinking maybe usually we would place in water there. What if we place um, ice? Because ice will eventually melt, but we do not have to worry it uh, melting too soon. Um, maybe we need a tiny bit of water uh, so that the heat is transferred. Uh, but we will we will figure that out. Probably not in this episode. Um, how is work going down here? It is going. Um, then we have to consider. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. We can do have a bridge here um, then we need another bridge there but then basically we can hook this up and connect it there That should fill our machine with petroleum. We are almost done here. As you can see, we are already pumping out the gas from in here. And I let a bit of uh, a pipe out here, all uh, radiant pipe, to uh, cool the system off on top of here. That will take a while until that is built. But now it's time to set this up. These two thermal sensors are uh, connected to the liquid shutoffs, and this one needs to be above uh, 160. 
Uh, and this one above 159. So slightly below. And uh, what this will do is uh, as long as the petroleum is cool enough, it will just loop around here, um, going this loop through the container. However, if it is too hot, it will go this way, cool off into the container. If it comes out too warm out of the container, it will go over here and up and cool off. And I think uh, we have everything going on here. Um, we lost our liquid lock there. But not to worry, I mean this set up uh, up here. Uh, we will need eventually, but let's make a bit of steel. How much do I need for a steam turbine? 800. So let's make those 800 kilograms and And we will have to figure out hmm, what we could do to close this off is just place a block there and then uh, it's it's contained. Alright, I think uh, um, duplicants have a bit more work to do up here even than there they are not nearly finished. But that's a project for next time. And with that, I'll leave you. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And also tune in for the next time when we are probably looking in how to improve our water situation. Until then, goodbye.